<laughs> Hello, everybody. That was Asaph Adonai. All right. Thanks, Asaph. And what song was that again? That's the first Noel. The first and Noel, I once it again. For our hostess. For the our hostess. only one. What about for Scott? Sing we Scott Ramp. I'll maybe jingle Old bells. Man Scott Ramp walking down the street. On Christmas. On Christmas. <laughs> you know, since it's Christmas, I'll I have something Christmas. else for our hostess. Oh. Merry oh, Christmas. Thanks, Asa. <laughs> it's a heart bear. Cute. Yeah. Hold it up to camera three. I was three. going to give that to Check you. Check it out, camera three. Camera three. Nice. Trey cute. Trey cool. Whoa. Watch out, bear. Don't get too close to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, that was a little too much. All right, so <laughs> my pleasure. So let's talk a little bit about weather. So the uh -oh. weather is it's currently 28 to. degrees outside, uh -oh. and it's gonna be mostly cloudy today. Tonight there's a 20% chance of snow, scattered rain and snow for Thursday. Rain that night, so it's gonna be snow rain for the next couple nights. Saturday it's mostly cloudy. And then we're, rain is most likely going to happen on Sunday from the National Weather Service. That's, and you know what? There's no snow. Yep. <laughs> and it's all going to be in the 30s. Yeah. Most, the, most of the highs are in the 30s. The lows are going to be in the 20s, which is great. It's like the perfect uh, temperature for those of you who still want to hang out wearing sweater, sweaters, sweaters who aren't as cold. <laughs> yeah. But before we move on to our regular scheduled programming, I want to talk uh, oh, I want to talk about... <laughs> our website and mm -hmm. to tell everyone that we are indeed closed on <laughs> <laughs> December 19th through January 6th. So we're not open next week and the week after, just so you know. You can um, see our post. I'm going to post some stuff on our, I usually post programming on the MCAT Community Access Television mm -hmm. webpage on Facebook. Oh, you can like it, and you can find out all the brand new program that's happening on MCAT. You can find out all about our show on our Wix page at wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. And you can find out all sorts of great stuff. Our past video, which you can see some um, half-naked guy <laughs> dissolving into our video and so forth. Uh, and me looking at the guy, as you can see. <laughs> if you look, I'm looking directly that at that guy. He's like, I do not approve. I'm old man. And of answer. course, you can like us on Facebook, where you can see f some of our funny posts that we did. And speaking of funny posts, I have a, a test for you guys. Oh. And if you come back to us, um, this is uh, something I found on the website Funny or Die. And um, it was like their picture of the week. And I thought this was hilarious, so I wanted to repeat it. So, and you guys are more than welcome to try it at home and post on our uh, Facebook page your own life motto. And this is this guy's life motto. Goats are like mushrooms. If you shoot a duck, I'm scared of toasters. <laughs> and that was his life motto. So I, before the show, I had these guys write their own <laughs> mottos. I'll start with my motto, because I wrote my very own fans to dance and motto. Uh -huh. And my life, mo my life motto is, sandwiches make me take showers. When I play trombone, you learn to read. <laughs> and uh, what do you have, Noel? Okay, my life motto is, um, throw your hands up if the Pope shows his ankles. I love Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> and Asaph, let's get it. Mine is, um... <clears throat> After I dance to the Sugar Plum Fairy, I run to the bathroom. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, I, I, I do, going to appreciate that one. I do like the uh, I do like the last part you added before the show because it, 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 like you were honestly sincere about it. It was like yeah, because plums make you want to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that last line like really added to it. Like mm -hmm. when the, when I dance with the Sugar Plum player, Sugar Plum Fairies, I go to the bathroom because plums make, make me go to the bathroom. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <that's sincere. laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. So you guys at home should totally try it. It's a random motto. All you need is um, make a statement and then um, make a therefore. Make a result. Like statement. a result. Like, like therefore, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then finally is a um, is uh, because. because. Mm -hmm. So like he says, goats like mushrooms. It's a statement. Therefore, if you shoot a duck. I'm scared of toast. As a result of that, I'm scared of toaster. So make your own version of it. Don't think about it too hard. It only takes a couple of seconds. Um, yeah. When I get a gift from um, 
stolen. What? <laughs> I remembered to thank Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> <laughs> because she gives free cars. <laughs> <laughs> because she gives free Hot Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so let's back to our regular schedule. Oh, yes. Um, Sorry, everyone. We have only one new program that's on tonight, and that's the Presidential Lecture Series featuring... Bum, bum. Let's see. It's um, Michael Schwartz is talking about the military neoliberalism. Liberalism. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the evolution profile of U.S. foreign policy in the 21st century. So it has nothing to do with like the 20th century. So it's all about new, new um, liberalism. It's great. Yeah, cool. So here is a little taste of the President Lecture Series happening tonight on MCAT. Uh. On Thursday afternoon, four Marine V-22 Ospreys landed in Liberia's International Airport in a thunder of noise. General Williams, the American commander here, was making plans to buzz Monrovia with the $70 million aircraft, counting on the visual and audio impact to tell Liberians that they were not alone in their Ebola fight. Uh, this is what I found when I read this. My, when I was planning this talk, I was going like this with the New York Times because it just it captures so much of where we have progressed in terms of the way our foreign policy is conducted and the goals, ambitions, and tasks that we give to our military. And um, yeah, that was Christian Ackerman, and he's going to be performing for you guys at the Missoula Community Theater, otherwise known as Missoula Children's Theater, or you can call it MCT like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> but me. <laughs> but yeah, we have a whole bunch of events happening in terms of first <laughs> night. So, I can't okay. Hold it up the same time as you. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question to uh, ASAP. Oh, what right. is first night? What is first night? Yes. My understanding is they have a lot of events going on on a, on a Friday of a month or something. Yep. I, I don't know if that's right or not. Yep. <laughs> oh, it is right. Okay. Yes. They have a whole bunch of events, and it's supposed to um, um, build community at, through um, a promoting of festivals that basically Miss Missoulians performing for Missoulians. We have a bunch of guests. We have the Drum Brothers performing on there. They always perform it. They're the ones that really kind of spearheaded the very first <coughs> first night. And I will show that in a From the Vault video on our Christmas special. During our Christmas special, we're going to show <laughs> some throwback video to the very first night where they're actually talking about having their very first night. And it, there was a time when there were about 200,000 cities in the world, around the world, that used first night. And it was supposed to promote fun, family fun times. And it was supposed to be alcohol-free events. Cool. Yeah. And it just showcases all sorts of events happening, starting at um, the Southgate Mall. It kicks off at the Southgate Mall. They do ice sculptures in the the lawn of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. um, they do it at the university um, center. So I, I was about to say UC Center. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says UC Center. It's like let's go to the UC Center. It's just UC. I know, <laughs> but people like people get used so used to saying UC Center. But it's gonna be at the University Center. It's mm -hmm. gonna be at the Wilma. For yeah. Wilma's having their um, first night. So here I'll I'll read you guys where everything is. So uh, Break Espresso Caris Park Carousel for Missoula is having free carousel rides yep. with a button. Courthouse Lawn is having um, ice sculpting. But show up early because they usually get done within the first um, hour or two. Yeah. Kearns Aquatic Center, Dana Gallery, E3 Convergence Gallery, First United Methodist, MCT, MCT Lobby, so the theater and the lobby, mm -hmm. uh, Missoula Art Museum, Missoula Senior Center, um, the Murphy Jeb Fine Art Center, Roxy Theater 1, Roxy Theater 2, Spectrum Downtown, Wilma Theater, Zach, Denison Theater, UM Recital Hall, uh, and then at the university, third in the in the UC third floor lounge, atrium, ballroom, commons theater, 
Glacier Ice Rink, and the Southgate Mall. Yep, and you can find out all your information from these packets you can get at any local um, grocery store, <laughs> retail store, even Southgate Mall sells them, just ask oh, yeah. for it. And the button is how you can get in, and it's basically, the tw the button itself is about 12 bucks. Um, I think it, it might be If you buy it early, it's 12 bucks. If you buy it on the day of, it's 15 bucks. That's okay. what I remember it, and you get a nice button. I have a collection of buttons from every year for the last seven, eight years. So I go okay. every year. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't exactly say in here. Yeah. So, and also this year um, was the first year uh, MCAT's gonna get involved with first night. Um, Great. Uh, first night people, they hired MCAT to shoot highlights for next year. Okay, right. They want to do promotional stuff for it. Buttons for next year. cost fifteen dollars, eighteen dollars day of the event. Oh, okay. So I'm off by three dollars. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So just be aware that uh, fifteen dollars, but it's uh, basically, basically, apparently, apparently, exclusively, <laughs> exclusively. With this button, you can go to all the events. So I, you can understand that even one of these events would cost five, ten dollars, but you get a whole um, cornucopia. Yeah, cornucopia. <laughs> word of the day. Word of the day. Cornucopia <laughs> of uh, events going on. You get free swimming, uh, free in the game room. One like free pool. You get to play pool for free pretty much all day if you want to for first night. It's all just wonderful stuff. But I'm going to stop talking about First Night, and I want to talk about something else that's um, just opening this week, and that's the new Pavarel Center. I got a chance to look around the Pavarel Center, brought a camera, so I'm going to show you everything that I saw at the Pavarel Center right now on our show, and it will show everything that's going on at the Pav. I mean, it, you see all the rooms, really nice. There's three floors. There's the basement. There's the main floor with the lobby. Um, the cafeteria, <laughs> the offices, and like after the video, Noel can quiz me on <laughs> anything about the Pavarella Center, and I'll be like, oh, yes. Make sure you <laughs> ask yes or no questions. No. <laughs> I'm going to ask deep, thoughtful questions where you have to think about it for a few minutes. Oh, uh, no. I don't have time. <laughs> I ain't asking questions, then. <laughs> All right, so here is the new Pavarella Center just off Broadway.
Wow, indeed. That looks really <laughs> nice. That's super great. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's a, like a quick look at your Palver Rail Center. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So yeah, awesome. like if you got a chance to really look at the um like uh let's see. The men's quarters. The men's corridor is really long and it like it goes on for it feels like forever. There's a lot of twists and turns. Mm -hmm. Like well the women's quarters are um are, you know, just, straight, just a straight hallway. There's the um, fire exit on the just behind where you see women's rooms in this general area. Main hallway, you have the lockers provided for them as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I cut out a couple things for time, but it's nice, short, to the point video. It's exactly nice. what people can um, expect. Okay, I guess I do have some questions for you. Yeah. How many men's rooms are there? I don't know. I asked. Um, I asked them, but and they never got back to you. I asked them yesterday, so they might get back to me later today. Yeah, but um, well, we'll post it on our Facebook. We'll page. post how many um, rooms total. Rooms and all those but that was just a brief rough draft because I only got a chance to work on it yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So yeah, you got a chance to look at the new Pavarella Center. Ooh. What do you guys think? It looks really nice. I think it looks yeah. really nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's all for homeless people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Emergency housing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they have yeah. to be sober too. No, so, it's a, it's okay. a dry place, and the mm -hmm. hours are 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's when they sign in, 4 to 7? Well, you can sign in any time, but they, they don't let people stay after, um, if they don't show up, if they show up after 7. They can't come in. Yeah, we've had a couple uh, uh, people from the pub who stay at the pub come here at MCAT and you know, like try to make movies and whatnot. And they, they also lived at the pub because it's kind of like a half, it's, it's not really a halfway house, it's like a pre to the halfway house. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a way so, for them to get off the street and have yeah. a warm place to stay. And it's, and it's perfect time because they're going to start moving clients in this week. Okay. So if you're homeless, you can move in, which I don't know why anyone who's homeless would be watching this. Yeah. <laughs> there are no TVs like in shops and street corners. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. No. And plus, you can't even hear it. So I don't think anyone saw watching it. Like, this. people would see colors and like they would see your tie dye shirts, like, huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but that's enough of me talking, and we're going to have events happening in the next couple of days. And yes. after that, we're hopefully going to have Hallmark or Bull March. Oh. Um, okay, so um, today. What? Just your audio. <laughs> I'm fine, Scott. Okay, so today, these are Wednesday events. Uh, Spectrum Discovery Area, their Discovery Bench is Fractals, and their Brain Lab is Wriggling wor Wiggling Worms. Um, that's from 11 to 4, and it's $3.50 for anyone 4 and over. Cool. And Spectrum is down on um, Front Street, right before the library. Missoula Public Library is having an Excel class. They're just going to be doing showing you the basics of the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Um, so the topics include entering, moving, and copying data, using formulas, formatting, and print preview. Hmm. Registration is required. Just go to missoulapubliclibrary.org. I think it, is it .com or .org? Uh, for what? Missoula Public Library. Uh, just type uh, it in I, in the search engine. I really think it's a .org. I think it is too, yeah. And, but it's from 12.30 today to 1.30 today. Uh, middle School Writers is at the Missoula Public Library. This is a writing group for ages grades 6 through 9. Every Wednesday from 3 through to 5. Um, you just get, get and give good feedback, play with words, play, you know, write. And, and, and it's a good time for 6th and um, to ninth grade Yeah. to get like a good writing foothold. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because yeah. it, it's that time of the year where you're really just trying to, That's at that age, you're really finding your voice between 6th mm -hmm. and ninth grade. Yeah. Because usually, like, if you're, like, between, like, kindergarten, 5th, or even a little bit before that, um, you're just kind of more into entertaining yourself. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Uh, there's a meet and greet with Blockhead, 4 p.m. at Ear Candy Music. Um, he's going to be signing records, and they'll have CDs and records for sale. And they have Blockhead tickets for Monks on December 17th, which I'm not exactly sure what kind of music Blockhead is. Hmm. So if you're interested, and if it sounds interesting to you, look it up. Um, Women's Opportunity Resource Development is having a uh, parenting class. It's a Love and Logic Way series. And so it's just like a parenting class where you can use love and log logic rather than negative things. Cool. Um, so to register or for more information, contact Erica at 543-3550. Uh, Missoula Public Library's Big Sky Library is having their um, system check where they're having that video game club. 
And it's uh, from 4 to 6 at Big Sky High School Library. Cool. Uh, you know, every Wednesday they're having live recorded shows of fish. Um, it's, yeah, so it's just like live recorded shows of fish from, uh, starts at 4.30 and it just goes for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Northside Kettle House is having their community unite. Um, every pint sold, they donate 50 cents to the organization of the night. And speaking of the Kettle House, Santa is going to be at the Kettle House today at 5 p.m. Um, so Santa is, you know. Have a beer with Santa this, yeah. today. Mm -hmm, Have today. a beer with Santa today at the Kettle House. Have a beer with Santa today. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, you can bring your kids. They can tell them what they want for Christmas. You can tell them what you want for Christmas. You can even buy Santa a beer. They might sense, you know, it's Santa. It's, there's no <laughs> Like rules. a little kid is just like, I wish my mommy would drink. And then like, the <laughs> yeah. Santa's like, this is awkward. <laughs> like, really? Like, you had a brewery? Well, you're a little brat. Maybe your mom needs to drink. <laughs> and then Santa pulls out his flask. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst case scenario. And since like you Santa know? can disappear too, can, Santa can definitely have more than three beers at the kettle house. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He, he's gonna have a, a lot of Christmas cheer this year. He sure is. Hopefully one of his reindeer will pick him up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a good like uh, commercial. Like yeah, you, you, you saw the cowboy. You know, like you know, always have a friend that picks you up, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's a horse that picks up a cowboy yeah. from a bar. And that's so sweet. <laughs> yep, that's funny. Um, so tra Tamarack, oh, Lolo Peak Brewing Company is having their pint night, and 50 cents of every pint sold and goes to benefit a nonprofit around town. Mm. And the nonprofit is the Tamarack Brief Resource Center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it starts at 5.30. Um, and then at the trailhead, there is a discussion and lecture about this um, from this guy named Luke Mail, who... Um, he he and his friends like to go on like adventures and traverses. So they've done over 20 wilderness traverses longer than 100 miles within the past six years. They also did a 30 day, 370 miles traverse from the Yucatan to McCarthy, Alaska over Mount wow. Logan. Yeah, and so they use a combination of ultralight travel techniques and multi-sport equipment from ice skates to pack rafts, um, you know, to like get through the wilderness. So he's going to share stories, techniques, risk assessment, photos, and videos from his adventure. And I've got a video right here of what they do. Um, I'll, it's like four minutes, but I'll only show you guys a couple minutes of it. But it's pretty sweet. Yeah, so check it out. What do you think of this? Pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Right, everyone? And they did this for like um, well, they've been doing 300 this miles plus yeah. mixture of walking and skating. And skating and snowshoeing, yeah, totally. It's pretty sweet. That's a kind of a hardcore thing to do, too. It is. Um, but so that one, that was them skating through in November um, near the Anchorage area from Selawiki to Kozapu. It's 100 miles in two days. 
So in Kutzbe. Alaska. Kutzbe. I don't know. It could be French. I know. I butchered that. I'm sorry. But yeah, pretty sweet, right? They'll be at the trailhead today at 7. Yep. Um, McCormick Park, which I think this is this next event is really cool. Um, so at McCormick Park, um, well, no, at the Montana Natural History Center is where they're going to be giving this lecture, um, which is on 120 Hickory Street. But it's about the chemistry of the hot springs. Yeah, so you can like learn about why the hot springs smell like sulfur, what makes your skin slippery at Symes. So Nancy Hinman from the Geosciences Department at the University is going to explain the chemistry of hot springs which I think that's really cool. So um, it's free unless you want to give a $4 suggested donation. And the members are free for sure. So you have to give a suggested donation. I don't know, sounds cool. 120 Hickory Street tonight at 7 p.m. So that's what's going on for Wednesday at Beckside Thursday events. Uh, at the Montana Natural History Center, they're having their mini naturalist pre-K program. Um, this is for younger children mostly between the best for ages two to five and they're just going to explore you know the natural world through activities and games and observation and sensory skills and you know different imagination and stories Boom. yeah from 10 to 11 three dollars or one dollar for members and adults are in for free yeah spectrum discovery area is uh, their discovery bench is biofuels and the brain lab is memory and perception that is from 11 to 4 tomorrow, located down on Front Street. Um, Missoula Public Library is having my favorite event, the Read Dogs. Read. Where you can go into um, the, let's see. It's on the Dragon Dragon in the Children's Area, and you can read to a very nice reading education assistance dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from 3 to 4 today. Along with that is Lego Club at the library. Um... It's in the large meeting room from 3.30 to 5. Lego and Duplo pieces are provided. And nice. if you're under 12, you should probably have an adult participant. Yeah. Uh, La Grata Bella is having their downtown drop-in wine tasting. Uh, this is every Thursday at 5 p.m. The cost is $10 and is payable at the Old Post Pub. And there's a minimum of four wines in a different theme each week. Minimum? Jeez. I know. You party there. Yeah. It's pretty four good Four wines? Deal. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah, like <laughs> I have a like interest story with wine. So I, I cooked with wine and oh, I made yeah. a nice pasta. <laughs> and I, I put too much wine on the pasta and I drank too much wine when I was eating the pasta and I ended up just kinda laying in bed for like <laughs> hours and there's then it's like, I feel a lot better. Oh, it's time for bed. <laughs> That's so funny. It was uh, yeah, it was really bad. I actually had to um put some baking soda in water and mix it and, and drink, drink it because it, you were so all hung over. <laughs> no indigestion it was mm. all in the stomach I, 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 like it, i i had like the only thing i was like just like it was filling a little too filling and a lot of heartburn heartburn red wine always gives me heartburn that's yeah it's a cautionary tale <laughs> so i'll use less next time so just be smarter about it yeah totally um the union club is having merry place at blue moon they are a blues band starting at 5 30 tomorrow and the good food store is having a cooking class it's flavors of the world a tuscan christmas this is um tomorrow at 6 30 at the good food store class cost is 35 dollars and um so it's going. The, what they're going to be preparing is antipasti bruschetta tradizionale di pomodoro, pomodoro bruschetta. Um, they're going to be having mixed greens with fennel and pear, some <laughs> stuffed chicken, uh, fresh pasta with butternut, squash, and walnuts, nice. chocolate cream stuffed pastries. Wow. Yeah. So that's going to be really good. That'll be at the Good Food Store, thirty-five dollars at six thirty tomorrow. Uh, REI is having their yoga for outdoor fitness. Um, this is their REI's nature gym. And um, so you'll either join your, their yoga instructor to learn about the yoga basics, and de the basics to develop balance, endurance, and strength. Yeah, so go to REI.com slash Missoula for more information and to register. That's tomorrow night at 6.30 at REI. Uh, the Roxy Theater is having their Chris Sandwell Farewell concert rollout. So, um, Chris Sandman, he's a rapping cowboy from North Dakota. Oh, yeah. There was a documentary at the Big Sky Documentary yeah. Film Festival about him. Yeah, he drives a semi, plays the guitar, and raps. He looks like Hank Williams, but sings like Dr. Dre. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. So it's when he he tours the American West during the 2008 presidential election. Um, but and the guy who happens that this documentary is about, he happens to work at the Roxy. So he'll have a Q and A. And as with many shows, a rummage sale may take place after the show. That sounds great, right? Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much all the events I have for you guys. <laughs> Let's show that picture. Um, yeah, this is this him in is the him. tub. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm assuming he's rapping in the tub. I I'm in a tub wearing a cowboy hat. Yo, yo, tub, tub. I don't know how he raps. I don't either. But yeah, that's what's going on. That's how all the events going on for today and tomorrow. Um, for I didn't talk about any musical events, but of course there's always fun music things going on. If you want to check those out or want to know what's going on, go to MissoulaEvents.net. That's where I get all my information from. And I'll tell you all, like, by color category what's going on. And I know there's a bunch of karaoke tonight and lots of good bands. And, yeah, check it out if you want to. But uh, up next, we have everyone's favorite segment, Hallmark or Bullmark. Bullmark. <laughs> We're going to have a good time, guys. Hallmark or Bullmark? Hallmark. Hall Bullmark? Hall Hallmark. Hallmark. Hallmark and Bullmark. Hallmark or Bullmark. Bullmark or It can't Hallmark. be both. Bullmark. Mer, Bullmark. Although, like, mer, if, mer, mer, mer. if it's a Hallmark original movie that I wrote in my own words, wouldn't it be considered a little bit of both? I think so. Okay. I think you... Have you... Has Hallmark hired you on yet? Yeah. You know how, like, in television, like, if you're... If you're... You know, like, if you're standing next to someone, it seems like they're, um... Really close, but on camera they're really far away. Yeah. Kind of like right now, if you look at us, we're like Super really far, far away. But, we're but not. to me, I feel like I like See? yeah. Your arms are really long now. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not. I'm so sure. You know, you're never supposed to tell a girl that she has long arms. It's very um, yeah, very inappropriate. Don't ask about her age. Yeah. Don't tell her she has long arms. Ever. 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 Off with her head. Anyways. Okay. This first back. movie, Party Planner. Jenna Stanton learns that her boss Petra will be retiring at things say stuff after Christmas and hopes she will be left in charge of the party planning business. Try saying that five times fast. New York's <laughs> premier event planning service. Jenna's hope fade when Petra's charming and handsome nephew Nick Ooh. arrives on the scene and Petra announces that she will take over the business, which is an opportunity. <sighs> Oh, wait, well, let's see. D -d 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 taking he over the business. will take over the business. Yes. Yeah. When an opportunity to plan the toy store's Christmas party arises, Jenna starts arranging warm and traditional Christmas parties that inspired her as a child. Oh. When her strong feelings against Nick become for <laughs> Nick, um, she soon realizes that this may be the best Christmas party ever. And the movie is <laughs> called Best Christmas Party Ever. Hallmark uh, or Bullmark? I'll start with you, ASAP. Hit it. I'm gonna say it's Hallmark. Think so? What do you think? Um. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna say Bullmark. It's an, a real Is movie. It? It's a real original movie. I knew it. I was like, it's so big. It's probably a real movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is an, a real, that sounds real, awful. real, real, that sounds real. Like real. A that sounds like a terrible pick. That sounds like a terrible. Why are they all like. Everyone like everyone has to fall in love. Why yeah. can't they just like break up and be happy being an independent woman without a man because you don't need one? <laughs> How about that? We're all the feminist Hallmark movies. Th that's called Lifetime. <laughs> Not in a lifetime. <laughs> all right, here's We're the next movie. Here's movies. the next movie. All right, hit it ASAP. <laughs> Kiara Bolden's life is spinning out of control. This, the Christmas holiday is right around the corner, but instead of feeling joyous and giving, she wants to curl up in a corner and cry. She's broke and struggling to figure out how she's going to support herself and her unborn child. <gasps> she's left with no choice but to move back home to be closer with her family and friends. Just as she reaches the edge of town, her car breaks down, leaving her stuck in an impending blizzard. She's forced to seek refuge at a distant planet, I mean di distant neighbor's house. When she arrives at the house, she receives another shock. The man standing before her isn't the homeowner she remembers. It's Hugh Sheldon. <laughs> Sparks fly between the two, but before anything could happen, her water breaks. <laughs> Running out of town and unable to help, Kiara must deliver her baby old school. <laughs> Can this little miracle be more than just this baby for Christmas? And this movie is called 
Christmas Ever After. Oh my god. Is this a Hallmark oh or Bullmark movie? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a Hallmark movie. Definitely. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. No, I saw a Hallmark movie one time where everything were terrible in the entire world happened to this one woman. Seriously, everything bad you can imagine happened to her. And then she got them all back at the end. Everything happened. Okay, point. so is that your final answer, guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God, this is hilarious. Okay, I just want you guys to know that it is an actual story, but it's not Hallmark. Oh, uh, It's a book called... Christmas Ever After. They were both right, right? So, no, it's it's not a Hallmark original movie. But you didn't make it up either. Exactly. <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's not Bullmark, because I'm full of the Bullmark. I don't okay. like this. Yeah, so it was, and it wasn't. So it's real, but it's not real in terms of a Hallmark original movie. You can't, uh-uh. So, no, no, no. I can make up the rules. I made up the game. <laughs> So, this okay, is my decree. Sure. That's the way it's gonna work. I don't like that's this. the way it's gonna work. I don't like this. Uh, don't, I don't like this. Your face. I don't like this. All right. So that's enough for Hallmark or Bullmark. Thanks for joining us on our edition of Wake Up and School. <laughs> that's BS. No. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's bull. So you get it. That's why it's called Bullmark. It's not supposed to be fair. Turn it, look away, everyone. Look, look away. away. <laughs> look away. <laughs> All right, guys. So just once again, MCAT will be closed. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. MCAT will be closed <laughs> next week and the week after. Um, be sure to like MCAT on Facebook to find out all the new program and great videos we post. Um, like, um, go to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can like us on Facebook, and you can totally follow us on Twitter because we're all tweet you back. Yeah. So for Sweet. Wake Up Missoula, I am Scotty Ramp. And I'm Noel McAvoy. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you Monday. Oh, we have Christmas special on Monday. Yep. Yeah, so we'll see you guys See you Monday. Thanks.